Hello everyone, this is Julian from Canon Coffee and today we have a Wega espresso machine with a set of shots. And that came in because it wasn't turning on, it wasn't heating up, it wasn't doing a lot of things. Um, it wasn't lighting up, showing that it was heating up or you didn't hear anything at all. We went in there and we sourced all your problems to your older heating element. Um, this heating element is in really bad condition. As you can see, all this whole prong over here is rusting. Um, the rest is just burnt out and full of scale. All that black stuff would be considered scale. As you can see, it's just rubbing off all my fingers. Uh, really bad condition for a heating element. Hopefully it can focus, but all of that is just rusting away. Um, and it just wasn't turning on, as you can tell. Um, so we replaced it with a brand new one, brand new gasket on there also. Uh, while I was in there, your inside of your boiler was really, really bad. So I went out of my way of one, descaling the entire boiler by filling it up manually with hot water and then pumping all of it out and then doing it again. I think I did it twice just to see if I could get a lot of that stuff off the walls. Um, typically you wouldn't be able to get that out doing typical descaling. Um, kept doing that over and over and then I ran it with clear water over and over and over. Uh, seemed to work pretty well. You got it pretty clean there, but um, not fully clean. Um, it's kind of impossible without having to take off the whole thing and doing it by hand, which is quite a hefty uh, and expensive job. Um, also did a tune-up, replaced a gasket, replaced a shower screen on this machine, uh, made, did back flushing on your valve, descaling the machine. Um, after we got it heating up and turning on after we had replaced the heating element, we seen that it was overheating quite a lot going almost into the two, and then finally turned it off no matter how much you adjusted it. And so we replaced just the pressure stat, just so we could keep it at that 1.3 um, and not have it over here. But now we're going to test the machine. Also deep cleaned your steam on and portafilter, so you might see that there's a different color inside of your portafilter. Um, totally normal. When you have coffee, uh, more acidic coffee, it tends to stain your portafilter. And then when you take off all the stainage, it leaves a kind of golden brown look to your portafilter. So... Uh, don't worry about that. It's all clean, all nice, and then we do have the steam on here, but we're going to test this first. Don't worry if this runs a little too fast, a little too slow. Um, don't have our beans calibrated to your machine precisely, but we're just making sure water comes through and it can brew something, as you can see right now. Oh, also, we have a brand new water pump in this machine. Here is your older one. This is from 2014. Typically, we replace pumps every five to six years. That's what we recommend, um, just because, you know, pumps at least these small vibratory pumps they give out a lot and if you're not descaling your machine you're gonna run into a few issues some pumps last a very long time but you know it's very it's just nice to get a new water pump uh, on your machine whenever you can um, since the machine was already here and the pump was just not sounding the best um, we decided to replace it but yeah so there's your brood shot put this to the side take this off so that we could then set out you get a nice flow to your group head as you can see, nice and even. And now the last thing we're going to do is test the steam. So we're going to get a pitch in. And this is a four spout steam. As you can see, running really, really well. I did do clean the steam on because there's a lot of milk on the outside of it. And on the inside, of course, yeah. And that will, of course, drop down your steam boiler. Yeah, that's about it. If you like this video or any of our other videos on our channel, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.